I'm Brian McCabe, an asset management partner in Ropes and Gray's Boston office. In this video, I'm going to discuss active non-transparent ETFs and the opportunities they offer to investors and asset managers of traditional mutual funds. ETFs generally have a significant tax advantage over mutual funds. Um, there's no reason why they have to because traditional mutual funds could transact in kind, but as a practical matter, they really don't. Um, that's, you know, one-tenth of one percent or less of their transactions are going to be in-kind. And in-kind transactions are much more tax efficient. So the primary benefit, I'd say, is a tax benefit. You also pick up savings in transfer agency costs, because ETFs generally don't pay transfer agency costs, and um, traditional mutual funds do. Um, in addition, ETFs generally don't pay 12B1 fees, distribution costs, that um, are usually embedded in a mutual fund. So um, taken together, uh, over time, you're going to generally save money in an ETF relative to a mutual fund. Um, people talk about that being the wrapper, um, the ETF or the mutual fund. If it's offered, you can get the same strategy in either wrapper. And so the cost uh, differences can really drive the choice of, of the wrapper that you're looking for. For traditional managers who aren't offering ETFs, um, a lot of them have been looking at the ETF market, seeing it growing and saying, gee, wouldn't it have been nice, had I known this was going to happen, it might have been nice to be in the ETF space. This represents another natural entry point. Um, until the SEC approved the active non-transparent orders last year, um, an active manager basically couldn't create, um, couldn't offer the same strategy in the ETF without giving away its secret sauce by um, posting its portfolio every day on trade date plus one. Um, so if, you, if it takes you more than one day to build your positions, the fear is that the market might be able to see a manager coming, front run the manager, or just be a free rider and say, well, I'll just buy tomorrow whatever that is in that fund today and not have to pay the management fee. Um, the new non-transparent models offer a way to protect the alpha, the, the intellectual property of the um, asset manager um, while still getting into the ETF market. So it's an opportunity for asset managers to move into a new vehicle and offer their existing strategies or new strategies in ways that don't give away the store. There are a lot of advantages to using clones if you're an active manager because your product is well-known, proven, accepted in the marketplace, brand recognition, um, scale. There are a lot of good reasons to um, uh, have your initial ETF offering be a clone of your successful traditional funds. The big challenge is trying to figure out pricing um, because even if you set your management fee uh, equally across the two vehicles, um, because of the cost advantages of ETFs, um, transfer agency costs, 12B1 fees that, that ETFs don't bear, the ETF is generally going to be less expensive than the traditional mutual fund. And so traditional managers are concerned that they might be cannibalizing their existing products, that people might move from the traditional fund into the ETF. Um, similarly, intermediaries who have sold the traditional fund might be worried that their clients might move over to some cheaper product on which they can't get a 12B1. Um, so it's more of a business challenge than a legal challenge. Um, but those are the issues that a lot of asset, uh, traditional asset managers are wrestling with in this space.